So when you're looking for a roof uh, takeoff to be done, there's some requirements that are nice and handy to have to do a takeoff to be accurate on it. We'd like to see a downward drawing as you see here. This is looking down as a bird would see onto a roof. So as this drawing here is showing, you got your eaves line going around. You got a gable in here. These are gonna be hips. So what we need to do is we need to see all these measurements. Every straight line that you see on this drawing should have a measurement. The most important measurement is going to be your panel lengths. So we need to know from the bottom of your eaves to the top at the ridge how long those panels have to be. You'll see here, bottom of the eaves to the ridge cap, 10 foot 8 is the panel length. The way you want to take your measurement is you want to hook your tape on at the bottom and you want to go to the very center at the peak. That's the panel length that you want to have because by the time you drop that panel down for three quarter inch overhang at the bottom, you're now going to have the right spacing you need at the ridge cap for your, your panels to vent. Another thing we like to see is if you've got a chimney on your house. We don't need to know exactly where that chimney is, we just need to know that you have it in that proximity of the roof. That way we know what flashings are going to be needed for that chimney. If you had a chimney right at the peak, you wouldn't necessarily need the same flashings as what you see on this chimney. We need to know if you got a stink pipe coming through the roof and what size it is roughly. 3 inch pipe will give you the boot for that pipe so you don't go home without not having the right things to do your roof. If you want to have max vents installed in your roof we need to know whether you want one or two or three or whatever. You'll see in here we're going to have your valley legs. It's nice to know those valley lengths so I know how much valley to give you. Another thing we like to know is your drawing if it's accurate. If your panel, if your ridge line doesn't run into the other ridge line, it's nice to know that. So maybe have the distance in there. Be very accurate with all your measurements. The more accurate you are with the measurements, the more accurate we can be when we do the takeoff. It's nice to know what pitch you have on your roof. If you've got a pitch of 612, we can bend the, some of the panels or some of the trims to a 612 pitch for you. Another nice thing is to have a tag name on it if you're a contractor looking for an estimate. Put a tag name on there so we can find that later. Write the profile that you want for a roofing profile. We've got nine of them to choose from, so pick one out. Write it on your drawing so we know to do the right takeoff because each panel has a different coverage on it. So it's nice to know which profile you want to see. You'll also see on here A, B, C, D, and E. When we do the takeoff for you, we're going to label those bundles as they're run out of our machine to fit your roof. There's going to be usually an arrow on here of where to start. So you're going to start your panels here and you're going to continue across. Here you're going to see an arrow going both ways, so we want you to go both ways here. So here we got you starting the panels here and going here. And then we got you coming up and over the valley. The reason why we have you starting here is because we like to have you overlapping a lot easier than underlapping a panel. In some cases from here to here you have to underlap so you have to do that anyway. So that's what we like to see when we're doing uh, a takeoff for you. The more accurate you are, the better we can be at our job for getting you that right quote.